Let's move on to the next part of the show because we have Fire Guy Ryan here and it's Uh-oh. a special event. I have some comics that need to be prepared to be sent off to the certified guaranteed company. This is going to be an embarrassing sequence. So okay. stay tuned. Let's do it. All right. So what we're going to do today, comic fam, is we're going to have this guy package up some comic books to submit for grading. Okay. So I already did the pre-work here and I have my form with the list of comics that I'm going to send in. So you got to first do that. You go over to CGC's website. I'll put the link in the description. There's no affiliate link. I don't get paid to have you sign up or anything like that, but you can sign up for a free membership and that's how you can fill out your paperwork that you need to be able to do what we're doing to be able to submit comic books for grading. So CGC actually has a brand new product that is pretty cool. And I was actually surprised to see how cheap it was. And this is going to resolve so many people's like concerns and questions about how to submit comics for grading and how to ship them properly. And we have Ryan here because this is the first time you've ever done this. Yes. I have not sent anything into CGC before. So the first thing you got to do is you got to get your paperwork done. So make sure you have that to start this process because you're going to need it in a second. But assuming that you have that paperwork, now we can tell you about the products that CGC actually has to make this whole process easier. And there's two of them and they're really cheap. They are very affordably priced. You have two different shipping kits that they will send out to you with all the materials inside to package up your comics and mail them back out. The there is a smaller size shipping kit that's for like 1 to 10 comics and then a larger one for 11 to 40 comics. That's right. They're covering all your bases and if you are going to send 1 to 10 comics This is what you're going to get sent to you. This right here is the small shipping kit. And we're going to show you how you assemble it and submit your comics for grading. Now, I do have an example of the large shipping kit. The process is the same. You're just going to have more boxes that are going to be able to go in there. And I'll show that on screen as well. But we're going to be doing the small kit assembly here. First things first. What we have in front of me is a bunch of exclusives that we made that I want to get graded. I want to do giveaways with them, and I want to send them out in our bonus box. Mm -hmm. We have a monthly subscription service, and those who post their box on Instagram, we send out bonus boxes to a handful of lucky winners that we do a raffle for. And I want to start sending out exclusives that we made that are graded. So today, Ryan, you are going to put these together and help ship them to the CGC in Florida. Goody, and I'm, goody. I'm going for nine eights, and we are going to do an unboxing. So if you screw one of these up, I'm going to know it was you. Thank you. That's All right? no pressure. No pressure. Okay, so we have a small kit. Again, this was $15, $15 to get it mailed here. I did the shipping quote. I don't know if this is the same for everybody because this came from Florida. I live in Washington State, but it said it was free shipping. All the way, as far, about as far away as you can be. So like, I'm not sure if this is going to be the same for everybody. I'm just quoting their, their website price. But yeah, 15 bucks to get the shipping supplies needed to grade 1 to 10 comics. So let's take a look at what's inside. So first off, you open the box, and this is what you got. It's another box. Okay, you have another box here. Now, what do you do with this stuff when you open it? You just throw it right in the trash, right? Okay, so the first box is what it was shipped in, right? Right. We don't need that. You can put that aside. That one. That one goes away. You but don't, You don't need it. But we need these boxes here. There's everything a box within the here, box. Everything else in here is important. And if you're like me and you throw things away when you start to unbox them, don't, don't do that. Everything in here is important and necessary. Okay, so that right there is the return box. And notice it already says the word fragile on the box. So this is saving you a sticker, you know, having to put on your box. Some thought went into every step of the supply bundle that you get. It's almost like they're professionals and they know what they're doing. Okay, so you have your return box marked as fragile, but there's another box in there. Let's take a look at that. There's more boxes in here. Okay, so let's actually take a look at all of the contents because I want to make sure it's all here. So you got some bubble wrap. Okay, that makes sense. Fun. All right. You have your pen. You actually get a CGC pen. That's pretty fun. That's for us. Nifty gifties. You get some nifty gifties. You get a 9.8 sticker. That's pretty cool too. I like that. Those are not necessary to grade your comics, though. You do get to keep those. So we have this box here, the fragile box. This is what's actually going to be sent out to Florida. Right. We're going to so use this last. Set that aside, yeah, and we'll use it at the very end to package it all up. Okay, so now we have this box right here, and it says raw books inside. So what do we got here? Inside of this box, there is a set of bags and boards. Inside of a 
bubble wrap bag. Keep it extra protected. Okay, so you have now 10 comic book bags and boards. They supply you with the bags and boards. So you know how to bag and board comics. Let's see I, you do that. I here. do know how to do that. But okay. I'm sure today I'll, I'll make a fool of myself. Okay. And what we're going to actually need to do here is keep this stack in order because aside from getting all of these prepared, there is one thing that you need to do prior to all this, which is print out your paperwork. If you go to CGC's site, you can sign up for membership and that's how you actually go through the submission process. I recommend the service in general. This is just a recommendation from one comic book collector to the community. First thing we got to do is bag and board these comics. So grab your board, put the comic on the board, and my recommendation is to go right in at the corner. Like that. Boom. Let's make it happen. Best to go in at the corner with the comic on the board. And then you can slide that plastic right on it. Boom. Okay, so we got our comics all bagged and boarded, all ready to go. We have 10 comics here. The next part is really important. We have to organize these comics in the way that they appear on the package slip. So Ryan, all the Thors go first, so let's make that happen. The way you do it is you place one comic book down, you take that second comic book on the list, which is a Thor comic book. And now you want to, that's right, flip them and make them look at each other. Boom. It's going to add that like extra protection. Then we are now going to place the rest of the Thor comics and you're going to place them directly on top of them. Face down. That's right. Boom. We have all the next Thors going on top. Then we have the... Walking Dead number one, Milky Comics exclusives. Those Beautiful. go next on that pile. Then we have the Undiscovered Country exclusives. Those go next on the pile. And then last but not least, according to my package slip, it says Metal Shark Bro is going at the very bottom. All right, so now you have all of your stack. You need your package slip. Don't forget to put that on top. Right. But flip yes. it over first. So it's actually on the top. That's right. So current, what do you have on the top there? The first two comics that are facing each other. Which are two Thor comic books. Okay. Put the package slip there, and now we got to bubble wrap them. Uh -huh. I almost forgot this step. You get your stack of comics with your list on top, and they go into the bubble wrap bag that was so conveniently provided for us. Now you got to tape that bubble wrap closed. Whoop. Boom. All right. So now you want to put that facing up. In your box. Like a so. Dude, you're doing so good, Ryan. Thank you. All right. Seal them up. Close it all up. Seal that bad boy. Whoop. Sealed. Boom. Dude, all right. We're almost done. So now is when you get the uh, the Fragile box that you got from the beginning. Okay, I'll help you out here. I'm going to move the raw books box. This actually has the raw books inside. you got to be careful. Indeed. And it is clearly labeled. Okay. Now you get some bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Put that down first. Put your raw books inside over that. Ooh, and then we have another one. Another layer of bubble wrap to go Perfect. on top and just kind of go all around and make it nice and tight so it does not move. All right, Ryan, you got the gun. I'm gonna make it happen. It all up. Oh, goodness. I have the gun. I am armed with tape. I'm going to pop some of these bubbles. I just know it. Okay. Okay. Gun. <laughs> There's tape on it, so we're good. <laughs> this is the most confusing angle to be doing this. Sealed, and it's going. We did it, comic fam. To CGC, and that's how we do it. And that is it, Ryan. You did it. You packaged up your first comics that are going to be sent to Florida for grading. I feel like a real man now. On a scale of like you know, easy to hard. How difficult was this? Nine point eight. Nine point eight in. On easy on the easy scale. On the easy scale, nine point eight on the easy scale. I like it. And it sounds like that just like, you know, very small difference to make that ten point oh. It's probably just your confidence in just needing to do it more than once because I bet the next time you do it, it's gonna be a 
very, very easy process. It's even easier by having all of the materials already there for you, so you don't have to guesswork anything or rely on previous shipping experience, which I don't have any of. So this was very helpful for a noob like myself. And the only difference between this smaller kit and the larger kit is that there's more of those raw boxes on the inside. So you can actually put them in this larger box and ship up to 40 different comics at once. And they give you all the supplies for that too. I think that it makes the whole process easier, especially for those individuals who just aren't used to shipping comics. I mean, how often do we see just terrible shipping jobs in the community? We've seen a few of those in our time. So if we've seen a lot and we're just like, surf and Instagram spotting it. Imagine what CGC must have seen over the years of operation. There has to be a reason why they have gone out of their way to provide such a dope product to the community. They must have seen some horrific stuff. Which is like, here, 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 you do it yourself. Here's how you do it. Please stop sending us terrible package boxes. Dude, shake that box. Do you hear anything? If you can give it the shake test, it's good. There's silence happening. I hear nothing. Nothing. I also got these big headphones on. All right, comic fan, we appreciate you. Let us know what you think about Ryan putting this together. I'm proud of you, man. Well done. Thank you. Nah, no touching. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, we'll touching. do it in, in our brains. Here, we'll do, I'll get it really close and almost touch. Hup. No, close. Hup. Hup. No, 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 no. I'm getting on the camera. Germs can jump. Boom, right there. Ah. Boom. Ah. All right, we did it. We're safe. Comic fam, big update from the CGC that I got to let you know about. They have adjusted their membership requirements to allow free CGC members to submit directly to the CGC headquarters until April 30th. Traditionally, you need to be a paid CGC member to be able to submit your comics directly to the CGC headquarters in Florida to be encapsulated. Right now, because of what's going on, you have until April 30th to sign up for a free membership and submit your comics for grading. This is a great opportunity to still get your comics graded if conventions are delayed or canceled. They're also offering discounted shipping kits, so if you like these boxes that we used, hit CGC's site and pick up some of those as well. This isn't a sponsored ad. I'm not getting paid for you guys to get your comics graded. I'm just putting a link down below so you can sign up for a membership option, whatever you like, and be able to take advantage of a really great opportunity. Anyways, back to the video.